Hey guys, and welcome back to more air combat. When we last left off, we completed the first three missions. We had warmed up just a little bit, and we've unlocked some new aircraft. So let's have a little peruse around, shall we? Uh, we have... Please don't pause my game. Thank you. Uh, what have we unlocked? We got the F-117. Ah, we got the Tornado. Uh, probably not going to buy the Tornado. Don't really see uh, the point in it, to be honest. Ah, we got the F-15, though. We've got the Eagle. Let's go buy... Um, that's not what we wanted to do. Let's try that again. The MiGs are actually excellent planes in this game. Like, ridiculously good. So let's buy... Let's buy the F-15. Because this thing is demonic. As it was. I believe the F-15 is still in service, actually. Night attack on a coastal city. Well, all right, then. Up to now, our offensive missions have been constrained by the presence of civilians in Donnett City. A recent evacuation of that city permits us to engage hard targets within the city perimeter. Target 1, Computer Communication Center. Target 2, Enemy Headquarters Building. Night conditions should neutralize enemy ground fire. However, the city has at least three interceptors available. We have no intelligence on force composition. From now on, you will have a wingman assigned to you. Inform him of the operation before departure. Will do, boss. However, I don't think we're going to be taking a wingman with us for this mission just because we are still a little bit poor. So we're going to launch. Uh, let's, let's take the eagle. Sure. Now, I do like the eagle in this game. It's not the best plane, but it's, you know, it's good enough. To be fair, I don't really think there's any genuinely useless planes in this game. You could probably complete the game with absolutely every airframe. Gun turrets are slightly dangerous, but they're worth so, so much money. So they're absolutely worth uh, taking out. Now, the only ground threats, I believe, in this game are gun turrets, and there are some SAM sites, but there's not many. Not many at all. So, all right, we got this, we got this. I don't think a tornado would really have too much trouble, or give too much trouble to a uh, F-15, I'll be honest. Tornado is more of a multi-role fighter, or fighter bomber. Whereas the F-15 is uh, the air dominant beast that it is. Alright. I believe the Strike Eagle, if memory serves, is, I'm very rusty with my aircraft knowledge, but I believe the Strike Eagle was upgraded to be a little bit more of a multi-role fighter bomber thing, but uh, I could be wrong. Anyway. Let's go blast some nerds out of their towers. After all, the city has apparent... Ooh, there's still a ground target down here. Good night. Now, those gun turrets, they kind of look a little bit pathetic, but if you um, if you don't pay them some a little bit of respect, they will do scary amounts of damage to you in very short time. But that's okay. We just hit the old afterburners, and as long as we keep moving, they're not too bad. Enemy is dusted. Now, ground targets only ever take one missile. Uh, from what I can understand, it doesn't really matter what you're flying. So, that's all good. Oh, they got some dusty old F4s out of the hangars there. That's fine. Which will make them pay for using obsolete airframes. Now, was the F4 obsolete in 1995? Uh, probably, I don't know actually. Might have to look that up. Might have to start looking into some old, some more um, aircraft knowledge. Third generation aircraft. So I'm pretty sure the F4 is the third generation aircraft. All right, let's go. Let's go dust this guy. Enemy on 
All right. Now this this slot that we're doing now, uh, this game, this should have been Gears of War 2. However, apparently we are getting a Marcus Phoenix edition uh, of the Gears of War 2, 3, and I don't know if we're going to get a judgment. Maybe. 2 and 3 at least. There was another. There he is. So I'm going to hold off for that. Alright. I see him. Let's go wake these guys up. They can burn to death in a grisly inferno. Alright. The city loading in. Beautiful little scene there. And all of its low poly glory. I got such a fondness for PlayStation polygons. I really have. It's just uh, so nostalgic, you know? Alright, cool. Now, uh, I can't believe if I said it or not, but it's not a long game. You can probably blast through it in, uh, I guess, three hours, I reckon. Ooh, we got some MiG-31s. Evening. Ivan has joined the fight. That's too much of a tight turn, I believe. Although... Although, he's kind of gift-wrapped himself for us. Thank you. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Oh, there's an F-15. It's, in theory, quite a dangerous adversary. But a piece of equipment is only as good as the pilot or operator of said piece of equipment. And unfortunately, well, these terrorists, they, uh, they ain't so smart. <laughs> yeah, man. In fact, I think they're being controlled by monkeys. Alright. So we've got one more aircraft to waste. Ah, he's being a little bit hard to catch. I like that. I like it. I like working for my kill, you know? Makes it feel like I've earned it. We're trying, buddy. Old Bob in the background. Yeah, he's done. Giving us a bit of a hard time. Now, can we just go straight ahead and dust both of these in one run? Yep. Ooh. We're going to be paying for that damage. Literally. So engaging ground targets in this game is kind of anus. It definitely gets better later on. Way better. I don't know if we're going to cover all of the Ace Combat games because... Well... They certainly get more complex as the game goes on. Especially after like the PlayStation 2, like into the 360 era. There's lots of extra little bonus things like shooting down enemy aces and stuff. and. Yeah, that sort of stuff can get irritating. But we're going to cover definitely the first trilogy. And perhaps some of the PlayStation 2 games. Because I never really... I don't think I've played all the PlayStation 2 games. There's one in particular I rented back in the day. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed it. But I cannot remember what one, uh, what it was called. All right. My alarm's going off. Nine o'clock already. Damn. All right, so we've got some new aircraft. What's new? What's on the old docket here? Ah. Yeah, obviously the F-117, the old Nighthawk, is stealth. I don't know how much a stealth fighter actually helps you in this game. Uh, can't say. But enemy stealth fighters well they're a pain because they will not ping up on your radar you have to make visual contact um, once you visually identify them then they ping up ah so it's an F4 there's another F4 to buy I believe yeah so the F4 there is a replacement airframe if you need it uh, we're not going to need it so nothing to see here, unfortunately. 
Let's do the missions in order. Wow, 12 million for doing that mission. Let's take it. Reconnaissance indicates a weak link in their fuel supply infrastructure. A single pipeline transfers all crude oil from their fields to their refinery. Strike both the pipeline and the refinery. Target, oil refinery plant and oil field. Well, that... The pipeline has a reference to the refinery. Locate and destroy. That can be achieved. Let's go. Now this mission is quite a bit of fun actually. Uh, let's just launch without support. Let's take... I like the eagle. Look how much armor this thing has. Certainly going to be leaning on this bad boy for a little while. Now, out in the desert. So, we actually have to follow the pipeline here. Because the game doesn't flag up all of our objectives. So, let's go for the ground targets first. Also, a bit of a nightmare circling through all of the uh, targets in this game. Because you basically have to push triangle to cycle through all of the targets, but you can only cycle through them one way. They kind of fix that in later games, but that's uh, something we're just going to have to deal with for this game. Alright, let's go. Yep. Couldn't actually select what we wanted to attack there. Which is kind of frustrating. Let's head off. Let's see if we can follow the pipeline and take out all of these uh, areas that don't show up. We are returning to mission, buddy. Oh, that was a missile. Sam. Don't see too many of those. But it's just coins in the purse at the end of the day. There's another one there. Ah, we'll get him on the way back. It's fine. We're going at max speed. Never going to be able to track us. All right. Now... Burning along at max speed isn't a bad shout because basically nothing can attack you when you're traveling at your maximum speed. Uh, they can try, but they're not going to hit you. So that's absolutely something we can use to our advantage. You're dusted, and you're dusted. Okay, not bad, not bad. So, let's go deal with these two. Stragglers. What are we up against? F-15s, huh? Ooh. Smoky little bastard. It's actually one of the longer missions in the game, to be honest. Just because of how many fiddly little bits there are to find. But that's okay. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of weapons. Come on, eagle. You are but coins in my purse. He should pull away. Good lad, good lad. Yes, that's what we like to see. Excellent. It's alright, we got this. Stop panicking in the back. For God's sakes. Stop panicking. Alright, if I'm panicking, you can panic. But until that time comes, it's all gravy, baby. Yeah, we know. Come on. Pull off. No. Nope going to try and cut through. That's fine. You can slow right down and slip in behind him. Excellent. Yep, he's dusted. Alright, so that's the north taken care of. Nah, we're okay. We're okay. Let's go for a long sweep. Find the pipeline and follow it back. There he is. Let's accelerate to max. Track this guy. Dusted. Yep. He might be trying to track us, but he's on fire, so... <laughs> Good fucking luck, son. Alright. So that's the north dealt with. Let's head west. 
find it back to our objective. So this yawing that we're doing here by like scooting around without actually turning, you can't do that with the uh, basic controls. So that sucks because I like the yaw mechanics. I use them in just about every single. Ooh. Let's take out the F-14s first. Ooh. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> right. I'll catch you guys back here in a second. And as we were. Let's get back to that, shall we? <laughs> After getting thoroughly embarrassed by some sneaky little git in an F-14. But that's okay. Unfortunately, we have lost our eagle, but you know, these things happen, don't they? Let's start heading off into this direction. See where this party wagon heads. Oh, I see. Not even that far away. Wonderbar. Oh, we got a couple of Harriers. Interesting. Notice how the Harriers start off on the ground, which is quite cool. Can we? Oh, baby. Oh, that was really freaking cool. Harrier jump jets are pretty dangerous opponents. Just like an attack helicopter, really. An attack helicopter, like, uh, you know, the common misconception is that an uh, attack helicopter is no match for a fighter plane. Uh, not true. <laughs> Absolutely not true. Um, you know, an attack helicopter can have its guns trained on a jet at all times and can hide amongst tree cover and things like that. Uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, I can't remember if it's the Americans or the British. They did like this huge study. I think it was. Um, I think it was the Americans, and uh, it was either in. I think it was in the late 80s, and they were studying um, combat helicopters, uh, how to manage like fighter jets and stuff like that, and they worked out that five times. Uh, I think the kill was like five to one in the attack helicopter's favor. Just because uh, the attack helicopter was constantly uh, out maneuvering the jet. As long as the helicopter was equipped with air to air. And even when it wasn't, things like the Apache uh, could always have its main cannon trained on the uh, jet at all times in close combat and stuff like that. It's actually a really interesting thing. I read it. Quite a while ago now, but yeah, because even I, I assumed that you know, if uh, you know, uh, uh, F-35 or something against the, uh, well, to be fair, <laughs> when the study took place, they didn't have F-35s and F-22 Raptors, but uh, yeah, I always can, I always thought that you know, a modern fighter jet would completely outgun an attack helicopter, but. But yeah, apparently not. <laughs> apparently it's a, it's a bit of a bloodbath. Right, let's get rid of you. Didn't actually take him out, unfortunately. That's okay. Come on, sweet prince. Too close, way too close. I'm actually running out of missiles here. Which isn't where we need to be. Come on, Tornado. Now, Tornado was an interesting design. It could actually have um, ordnance stored above the wing, which I always thought was quite a cool little... It always looked cool, anyway. Had extra pylons above the wing. Not sure if any other aircraft really did that, but... Yeah, Tornado. Alright, come to Papa. Oop. Oop. No! You're not outturning me, Sunny Jim. Even if this mission has cost me my. my Strike Eagle. Or just Eagle, I believe it is. I don't think we get a Strike Eagle in this game. Stop shooting me, please. Wow! Did we not take that gun out? That's going to be sad, Panda. 
if we didn't. Enemy in sight. Nope, we did. Cool. Because uh, this Tomcat's getting really beaten up now. And of course, they did uh, the Super Tomcat as well. Was it the Super Tomcat? I'm sure, it's a Super Tomcat, the uh, updated, overhauled version, and modernised. All right, and then they did the Super Hornet as well. I believe, didn't they do the Super Eagle as well? America like putting Super in front of their jets, and who can blame them? It sounds pretty badass. All right, let's go take out these oil drums. Let's go for gun kills because we're kind of running out. Kind of running out of missiles. 14 left. That's that's quite bad. We've had a couple of near misses to be fair. Yeah, not often that you're actually going to have to worry about your ammo supply. But obviously, this one is one of those. One of those. I don't think you can do loops either with the uh, standard control scheme. Also, getting dangerously short on fuel, which ain't great either. Come on, let's pop that thing. There we go. I guess it doesn't take that many rounds to pierce one of those things. Which kind of makes sense, you know, 20 millimeter cannon. Probably open that thing up like a tin of beans. Although, obviously, in real life we would have, you know, possibly a couple of hundred rounds if we were lucky. Not, you know, 10,000. All right, let's hit the air brakes. Guide us in slowly. That was bad. Bad strafe. Bad strafe. Must have been firing blanks at that one. Or missing. 80% of our shots. Alright, let's go. Let's waste this guy. Love the 2D textures. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh, that was it as well. Sweet. Oof. I think we've got time for one more. Alright, let's get this thing back to the uh, hangar. Get it patched up. Definitely took a rough couple of knocks there. 16 million for destroying all those ground targets. Very nice. I don't know how much the uh, Eagle cost us, but... Probably more than 16 million. Let's take a look. See if we can't replace it with something cool. Uh, I don't want the tornado. Ah, we got the A-10 now. Alright. Wow, the A-10 is cheap. 720,000. Uh, yes, please. The A10 is literally overpowered. Uh, as you can notice, that nearly all of its stats are maxed out apart from power. And although you would think, gee, this plane must be really, really slow, it's not as slow as you would think. Because, like I say, all vehicles have the same speed, it just takes it a little bit longer to get there. Uh, defense, stability, offense, yeah, this thing is demonic. So we're probably going to be leaning on this uh, airframe quite a bit. And actually, let's drop a save whilst I'm thinking about it, because we haven't saved it yet either. Oops, right? Luckily, saving the game is very quick. So, oh, mission seven or mission six, destroy production site. Well, that sounds like a... Like a job for our warthog. The enemy has proved to have significant resources. This war of attrition is not to our advantage. We are now targeting key infrastructure sites. Target. Resources mining system and production plant. 
Intelligence reports stealth fighters operating in this theater. That's bad. Remember, their lack of radar signature makes visual sighting essential. So, yeah, like I said before, with stealth fighters, once you've... Uh, once you've seen them... I mean, I don't know if they're constantly flagged up then, or if you lose, lose visual sight of them, then they disappear off the map again. and can't remember, but... They are spicy mofos, either way. But they're only... Um, One one seven. Ready? Um, right. right now. Let's go. So we've got a hell of a facility to burn here. Now I believe. Enemy yeah, we've got F sixteens up there. That's fine. Alright, let's go to work on these guys. Now one thing that makes me laugh as well, or gives me a chuckle I should say, if we go into third person mode, look at where the uh, cannon is on the A-10. <laughs> Obviously the A-10 is on the middle of the fuselage under the cockpit, but you know. You can't expect everything. Alright, let's go take out an F-16. In a freaking A10. Now, in an ideal world. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, we just got hit by that. Oh, that stings. In an ideal world, our Avenger cannon should be lethal in this thing, but unfortunately, it is just a standard gun in this game. Another F16. Let's go eat this guy for breakfast. Come on, Mr. F-16. Save some missiles if we can. Yeah, these fighters are incredibly durable. Who would have thunked? Really? Come on, baby. Come on. Don't play hard to get. He's done. He's cool. Alright, let's go dust this facility. And then get out of here. Second stage, we're gonna have to keep a peep out for those bastard Nighthawks. Now, Nighthawks don't have any air to air capability whatsoever. But, you know, this isn't a simulation game. So, what can you expect? Right, let's hit the brakes. Get in at a nice little angle here. Let's go for a gun kill on this thing. Which might actually not be super smart. Ooh, Jesus, threaded that needle. Wasn't quite sure how the hit detection was going to work out. Alright, let's swing this puppy around. Pay actually, I think there's some more. Yeah, there is. There's gun turrets over here. Yum, yum. You are just coins in my bank account. Damn. Oof. Oh, that stung. That's okay. That is okay. At least this plane is maneuverable. So, small mercies and all that. Alright, he's had enough. He's had enough. Okay, let's burn on over. No afterburners in this plane, unfortunately. But she gets there. She gets there. SG-27s, well, they're not really the ones that our mother warned us about, are they? Yeah, bogey's on our six. Somehow we've already picked up the Nighthawks. Not sure how, but... We'll take these small mercies. There they are in the distance. Come on, SU. Oh, you spicy bitch. There we go. Ooh. Cut the bastard in half. Just 
get this turd off our back. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Oh, there's the there's there's the F117. At least one of them. I don't know why he's got a gun on it, but it makes me laugh. It's fine. Come on, connect. Beautiful. Shred that thing. Alright, now if we can just get to this one. Make him sing. Ooh, hello. Oh, ooh. What was that about? That was kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Luckily, we can fly low and slow. Come on, baby. Come on. Make it happen. Yes. Couple more missiles. They're gonna miss. Yeah, no, no connection. Come on. Eat that. Yeah, he's had enough. Sweet. Right, there's the F-117. Yeah, we really need to dust this guy. Come on. Oh, he's done. He's done. Right. Let's clean up. Let's clean house. We're literally hanging on by a thread here. Right, you're finished. Enemy resource plant. Oh, wow. This is a target rich environment. And one second. Right, we're going to have to try and get this one done because Gabby's come home from work now. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we need to maneuver. Definitely need to maneuver. I know the A10 isn't an expensive plane, but uh, it's quite the hammer in our toolbox. Okay, let's get you finished. If I can lock onto that gun turret, I'll be happy. Come on, did we? We did. Excellent. Final objective. Let's roll. Absolutely badass music again. Ah, uh, we got this. We got this. Follow the pipeline just in case there's an extra gun turret or 10 that we can waste along the way. Sometimes there is extra little Brucey bonuses that we can pick off. Doesn't look like anything too good here. Draws off, uh, distance is pretty bad though, to be fair. But that's alright. Now, what air support do they have here? Enemy in sight. Doesn't look like they got much. Oh, they do. Of course they do. They always do. Alright. Let's see what we've got to deal with. Oh, I didn't quite see what that was. A little bit further out. Come on. Alright, let's hit the brakes. That's a MiG 31. Alright, that's kind of dangerous in the wrong hands. Of course, a MiG is always in the wrong hands. Oh, another one. I think he's heading straight for us. Should be easy couple of hits. Come on, come on. Ooh, he's cutting through the sky. Come on, see that? Clap those cheeks. He's dust. Right, let's mop up these last few ground targets. And then it's off. The coffee and medals. So we've got a gun turret there. Let's go thread the needle. Pop his ass. Ooh, took some more hits. That's okay. It's fine. Don't mind taking hits. It's when we get destroyed, that's the problem. This old bird can take a hit or ten. Let's light this tower up. 
Well, that was kind of useless. Yeah, the gun definitely got <laughs> improved significantly later on. But that's fine. Enemy in okay. Enemy right, you're done. And you're done. Should have just done that to start off with. And head home. God, I love this music so much. So yeah, actually, for the stealth fighters, you literally get nothing for destroying them, really, when you think about it. And we, I think we paid more in repairs than we actually paid for this uh, aircraft in total, which is also bonkers. Right. Fast forward that. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I am literally going to go save. And tomorrow, when we return, we will uh, carry on pretty much from where we are. We, we check out our new uh, planes as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.